What is up YouTube? It is Drex and I am back with another video. I know, I know, it's been a long time for me. I needed a break because both my jobs been kicking my ass like crazy. Um, but everything is going to be doubling down soon, so hopefully I get to upload some more content. But uh, starting on my retro collection, I managed to get my hands on Manhunt 1 and 2. So I originally had the Xbox port of Manhunt 1, oh, sorry, Manhunt 1, but I ended up selling it because I just didn't need it anymore when I ended up getting the complete versions of these. I got a good deal for these uh, from a guy who was selling these. He, uh, off. he was actually a younger guy. He was going. To, he was on his way to college. So when I went to the flea market last week my, with my mother, um, he was right next to his parents' um, vendor stand. And he um, was just selling his games for a good uh, affordable prices because he needed the money for college. So took advantage of that. Also managed to get my hands on this Midway Arcade Treasures 2. I actually had this game as a kid. I didn't pay much for it. I think I paid only like a dollar for it. But you know, it had all the um, has all the arcade classes on it, like Mortal Kombat 2 and 3. I mostly play Arch Rival Rivals and Pit Fighter on it. And a lot of these games I actually have on my arcade already, uh, with the exception of Total Carnage. I could play it, but I just don't have the kind of control six two play two player. But I, I got it configured, but it just only only got it configured for one player. But yeah, you know, cool game, uh, cool thing to have. It has all the um, classic arcade ports on it. So I'll just give you zoom in a little bit. No, very good, very affordable as well. Um, got Rampage War Tour on it. I think I have that on my Nintendo 64. I gotta check my collection. I'm pretty sure I have it. But you know, yeah, awesome stuff to have of the arcade port games from Midway. Um, next up, got my hands on a sealed copy of Ultimate Spider-Man. I only paid 60 for this off of, from a guy for eBay. So it's brand new and sealed in the case. Ah, somebody's at my door. I don't know. Let's ignore that. So I plan on playing this anyway. So don't really plan, have no intention to sell it. So I guess since I'm on here, I can just open this up real quick just to see, you know, how it looks. You know, I just, I just like doing that. <laughs> We go see what's inside. This is one of my favorite Spider-Man games growing up, next to Spider-Man 2, um, based off of the movie. So I like the fact that you get to play as both Venom and uh, Spider-Man in this. So, yep, brand new, completing the box. Can't wait to play this tonight. After the Wilder versus um, Fury uh, match, round three. Shout out to whoever's well watching that. Let me know who you got your money on. I got my money on um, Fury. I think he's going to win that again. First, remember, keep in mind, the first round was um, a draw. Second round, well, the second match ended up with Fury and winning. Then the third match, we I just don't know for certain. I, I, I just got my money on uh, Fury. So that's just me. Tell me what you think in the comments. So we got Alan Wake. So the only reason why I got Alan Wake out, this is actually already in my collection. The only reason why I'm showing it is because I already bought Remastered. But if anybody knows what happened this week, the copies for that game sold out fast for both PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X. So I bought the Xbox Series X part of it. So that's why I'm just showing this. So there's a guy there. That was actually my, a game I left at my mom's house. I'm shocked I still had it completing the case. But uh, let's keep it going. We're going to go with my newer games now. First and foremost, we got Far Cry 6. I'm not too far in the game yet. Um, I've been playing the hell out of Metroid Dread. I guess I should show that right now. <laughs> but it's a, it's a great game so far. Uh, the graphics are a lot, uh, very awesome, especially on the Series X. I like it a lot, especially Giancarlo. He does great acting as a villain, of course. Love Giancarlo. But we got Metroid Dread, of course. This has been getting my, my attention a lot. And I'm going to be honest. I'm going to be like dead honest when saying this. I was not really excited for this game when it came out, but something told me I need to just check check out anyway. You know, but you play it, it's, it pays homage to traditional Metroid when you play it. Like, you know, I'm talking about starting with the NES to Xena, uh, not Xena, thinking about the emulator, sorry, to the Super Nintendo port. And, you know, the Game Boy Advance games, it really do play, uh, pays homage to that. And, I, you know, I guess the reason why I was hesitant to get it because I was kind of like those other guys looking for forward to, um, Metroid Prime, a uh, Metroid Prime 4, so 
yeah, very awesome game. I re you know, really enjoying it a lot. It's definitely difficult uh, at times, and you can get lost fast, like typical Metroid. But it's uh, for the most part, it's very fun, and I, I actually like the fact that you can. Uh, it's like very suspenseful. Um, running from and escaping from the Emmy robots so having a good time with that I don't know I don't think I'm really firing it but having a great time with it so next up we got lost judgment you know me I have to have my steel case my steel book cases so this is actually why that this probably got delayed from uh, Metroid not Metroid but freaking uh, GameStop so I was actually bitching about it all on my Twitter, like how FedEx was uh, delaying packages, but I understand what's going on. It's obviously a staff shortage and um, everything is being delayed. I actually got to start my Christmas shopping soon, uh, right after October, so I can make sure everything, everybody's gifts arrive on time. Next up, we got Tales of Arise. Pretty, um, I'd probably say I'm a quarter in on this. I'm actually enjoying it. The fight, long, the fights take a long time, and I guess that's kind of like any Tales game. Not a big fan of the Tales series, but someone told me to pick this one up. Well, I've been enjoying it a lot. Yeah, very great game to play. So yeah, very cool. It's actually kind of bringing me back in. That game is actually kind of bringing me back in on playing RPGs again, you know, especially action RPGs. Because I've been, I, you guys know, I'm still burned out on that playing those. I've been burned out for years, but I'm really enjoying that one. And yeah. Uh, I like it a lot. I actually beat I actually beat Kenna Bridge of Spirits the other day, but um, now I want to put more time in on uh, Tales of Arise. Death Loop, got another still book case on this. So I actually like this game. I'm not a big fan of role games like this, but it's really good. I, the acting is good, the casting is good, but I just I still don't know what the hell is going on when playing this. But hopefully I beat it soon. I killed Juliana several times, but I, I always find myself screwing up. So, yeah, yeah I, <laughs> hopefully um, I beat it soon. And uh, once I beat it, I probably might not play it again. Or I probably might play Juliana's story uh, where I protect the loop. But very good game. It took me a hard time to realize. I think that's like why I ended the stream soon. Because I remember streaming this like damn near a month ago and I kind of just like I just didn't understand it like I think a lot of people who was in on that stream probably just looked at me probably like what the hell is going on because I was just like so confused but um it's a good game for what it's worth uh last but not least uh Life is Strange True Colors now the only reason why I got this up here um is because this is a game for me and my wife but I told my wife I said we both okay keep in mind I, we didn't really like Life is Str Strange 2 like that and I'm just going to throw it on the table. Um, my, she, my wife didn't enjoy it as much as one. And I just kind of lost track of it. So, I mean, I'm pretty sure it's probably an okay story. But, you know, I, I told my wife, I said, before we open this up, we need to finish up Life is Strange 2 on PS4. The PS4 we have in the family room. So, um, we're going to probably do that first. So, that's why I got this one still sealed. Because it's technically a game for my wife and I. But moving forward, we're going to go with collectibles. Because that's it for video games. I managed to find out we had a Pokemon uh, card shop by our house. So I went and stopped in there the other day and got my hands on these. I might not open them. I might just leave them in the box um, and probably sell them later on and give them to my son. Or just give them to him if he gets off the Pokemon. He can open them up and, you know, to make I make sure he takes care of them nice and neatly and put them in uh, cases. He seems to be very attracted to, uh, like, Pokemon cards and trading cards. I know he's only one years old, but... Uh, when I, I remember he had like a box, there was a box of cereal my wife had bought and it had gave us like three Pokemon cards. I actually, I got him in my closet, it sealed away because I don't want him to bend those or mess them up because trading, everybody knows trading cards are uh, worth a lot of money and I just want to use them if he ever needs to go, yeah, I just want to give him, to, I just want to give them to him if he ever has to go out to college and whatnot or he could just sell them or just give them to him and you know, I make sure you take good care of them or if he ever wants to play the Pokemon card game, I don't know. So, um, for the most part, I might just get some sleeves and just put them in there. But I thought it was cool uh, to have those. Um, next up, we got Mortal Kombat Legends Battle of the Realms. Now, I heard a lot of bad press about this game. A lot of people was talking a lot of crap about it. But, you know, I want I still want to give it a chance anyway. I still haven't gotten a chance to open it up and watch it because my schedule has been hectic. It's either come home, play video games, and you know, or, come, you know, or watch a movie and obviously I've been prioritizing the games over watching the movies sadly so 
So I guess I'll start off with this. So every <laughs> everybody knows I'm a big fan of gargoyles. So oh damn it. <laughs> NECA had released this awesome Goliath figure. Looks pretty cool. Now love my god, love my gargoyles. I actually have um, all the Funko Pops in my room on the other side of my room. But they gave me this cool box. They actually, yeah. Look like it looks like art from um, that's on the Sega Genesis um, game um, case. Actually, I don't. I'm like, I'm not sure. I don't have the case of that game. I only got the cartridge. But yeah, love my love gargoyles. Like I said before, I'll say it like all. I'll hate to sound like broken record. Season three was not a good season with gargoyles, but I still mess with it. I'll still rewatch it. But I have to bitch. Next up, I got these. Now, I originally bought these for my cousin. I didn't grow up with He-Man like that. Neither did I grow up with the 2002 series. I, I watched the 2002 series like on and off, but I never really was into He-Man and Masters of the Universe. So, I think I might end up selling these because I originally get, wanted to give them to my cousin. Uh, he grew up with He-Man. He loved He-Man a lot, but he, I guess he's not into figures like that. He's only like into uh, art and posters. So, I might end up selling them or I might just end up put, uh, pinning them to the wall in my room. So, not a big deal. <laughs> but next, well, last but not least, <laughs> got this. Big Jurassic Park fan, big 90s kid. Got the Tyr Tyrannosaurus Rex. Got John Hammond's um, grandson in there with the Jeep. So I haven't decided if I'm going to open this up or not. I like the display on it a lot. The reason why I like the display, personally, is because it actually take, it's actually like in the exact setting of the movie where they're, um, John Hammond's grandkids are in that car. But, yeah, it, it's pretty cool. I don't want to really take them out. I might buy another one just so I can open it. But even then, I don't really have space for it like that. So I don't know how the fuck I'm going to display this. I might put it behind here and take the... Ghostbuster cereal down. So yeah. I'll just show that off. But other than that, that's it for my pickups video. Um hopefully I get some more content going more uh, soon. I just been busy as hell. It's been a staff shortage at my job and my second job has been like the hectic as hell because if we are uh, coming into a new season and I don't have to really mow lawns as much anymore and do any other landscaping um, projects. So I really been playing a lot of Battlefield beta lately, so I might do a video on that talking about my impressions of it. So uh, yeah, uh, I learned that this is Drex, and I'm out, and I'm glad to be back to making content. You guys take it easy.